Sarah Turner has just left the comfort of her family and quaint hometown of Hemford on Bagley to pursue her lifelong dream of becoming a veterinarian in Brindleton Bay. With bare beginnings, she's managed to settle into her humble new home, ambitiously jump into her first week of university classes, and even land a new job to secure herself for this exciting new chapter in life. In the midst of all these new beginnings, she's had the most heartwarming moment of all by meeting and adopting a new furry companion named Hope. For now, the start of Sarah's journey has been quite smooth, but will it remain that way? Hi guys, it's Sage and T. Welcome back to my channel. Let's find out together as we continue to follow Sarah on the rough road to success. It has been quite a long day. Exhaustion is really starting to set in and weigh Sarah down. The only thing truly lifting her spirits right now is this cute fur ball sitting in the living room. Sarah feels like she met her kindred spirit today. Hope is a stray just like her in this town, so it must have been meant to be finding her in the backyard. So the first thing on the to-do list is to buy Hope a food bowl because baby girl doesn't look like she's had a meal in quite some time. Sarah's not exactly sure how she's going to financially take care of Hope yet, but she's definitely determined to make it work. After that, we're going to try and take a nap and then cook up something to eat for ourselves. Sarah hasn't eaten all day and her stomach is doing cartwheels. Sarah's new schedule has really been throwing her for a loop and she's starting to feel like she may have bitten off a little more than she can chew. No pun intended. Her rustic new home is definitely starting to pick up a bit of dust and she hasn't even been able to explore past the living room since she moved in. If she wasn't preoccupied enough, her biggest stressor is that exams are at the end of the week and despite her excellent note taking and the occasional glance at her notebook, she hasn't truly had the chance to study and digest all the information. She really has to get on that and soon because time is running out. For now though, she's just taking the moment to appreciate that she's not alone anymore and that she has a new family member. Okay, that nap didn't last very long, but it's not like any nap lasts long on that couch. It's really time for Sarah to begin sleeping in an actual bed. She's not getting any adequate rest sleeping in the living room every night. We'll have to explore upstairs to see if we can find a new sleeping setup because unfortunately, she really can't afford to buy anything new at the moment. But it's not the couch pulling Sarah out of her slumber right now. It's Hope, letting Sarah know that duty calls. In just the short period of having her, Sarah has already learned that Hope is pretty stubborn. She's going to have quite the time training her. Since clearly there's no sleeping happening right now, the next best thing is food. Sarah is going to attempt to take a shower, and by shower I mean a low quality sprinkle due to very old plumbing, let's add that to the list of problems, and then she is going to make some dinner because she is starving. It's now past midnight and Sarah's exams officially begin tomorrow. She is really running out of time to study. Sarah's dream is to become the best vet in Brindleton Bay, and although her family holds no expectations, in her mind, the fate of her family's future rests on her shoulders. Failing these exams is not an option. She's already at a disadvantage being ineligible for a distinguished biology degree. The very least she can do is max out her grades in her undistinguished biology degree. She feels like she's falling behind, which to her is no different than letting her dream slip through her fingers and pretty much failing her entire family talk about pressure. Sarah can't take another night on the couch, and if she's going to be able to get any quality studying in, she needs a good night's rest. So tonight after dinner, we're going to head upstairs to see if we can find an actual bed. Sarah's not too fond of the idea of sleeping on someone's old used mattress, but she's feeling a little woozy and certainly prefers the face plant on a dusty pillow as opposed to her plate of stir fry. Um, she should have gone with the stir fry. Okay, while Sarah still has slight consciousness, we better head upstairs. It looks pretty old and it's really dusty, but a bed is a bed and at this moment, Sarah really doesn't care. Hopefully after a few hours of quality sleep, she can really get some studying done. Oh, and the lottery ticket she purchased the other day doesn't seem to have been a winner. So for now, looks like a degree is Sarah's only chance at success. 
Okay, it's the next morning and Sarah's pretty well rested, but it's Harvest Fest, Sarah's favorite holiday and she's spending it away from family. Harvest Fest is a really big deal in Henford, and right about now, Sarah would be helping her dad enter the oversized crop contest. Nothing says harvest like a giant pumpkin. While she would love to spend the day celebrating, there's really no time for that. She has much bigger responsibilities to tend to. Looks like the previous owner left some gnomes behind, so we're going to try and sell these along with some furniture to make some extra money to buy a computer to study for our exams. All right, we have the money to purchase a computer, but we only have enough to purchase the cheapest option. It's not the best, but it'll get the job done. Let's check in on the pups. She looks to be sleeping quite peacefully, so we'll leave her be. And also, let's quickly check our social bunny account. Sarah and Theo are more than siblings, they're best friends and could literally talk for hours. And looks like they have been. Okay, so maybe there's a little time for celebrating. Sarah and her mom always cook the main meal for Harvest Fest together. It's been that way since Sarah was a child. Even when the family would struggle to piece together the most basic meal due to their financial struggles, Sarah's mom always knew how to use resourcefulness to make sure their family never went hungry. You could say her dad's gardening skill, and Theo's muscles sort of helped a bit too. So after washing up, Sarah's going to use some of the ingredients she ordered earlier this week to cook a grand meal. They may not be in the same town, but Sarah would feel a little closer to home knowing that while she's cooking here, her family's at home doing the exact same thing. As Sarah's cooking, she can't help but to think back to an unusual message sent from Theo earlier. He mentioned something about seeing each other soon. Sarah finds this a little strange because as she was preparing to move to Brindleton, it was understood by her entire family that once she settled, she probably wouldn't be able to return home for a visit anytime soon. The family depleted all of their resources to get her here and there's no way Sarah could afford a trip back home. His message is a little odd, but she's just going to chalk it up to him having wishful thinking. Okay, looks like we have an unexpected visitor, and look at Hope go, being the guard dog she's probably always wanted to be. It's probably just a neighbor trying to welcome us to the neighborhood, but Sarah is very introverted and only likes to socialize when she's mentally prepared herself. Meeting new people in the neighborhood is definitely on the to-do list, but for now, Sarah's just going to pretend to not be home and let whoever's on the other side of the door believe a vicious grizzly lives here. It appears that our determined visitor has given up their quest after about three minutes of persistent knocking. Our noble furry companion has protected the castle, and it looks like some recognition and puppy praise is in order. Now it's time to get dressed. Sarah has class shortly. Her term paper for this course is due today, and she hasn't even started it. She needs to take the best notes possible in class that she can, because she has four classes to both study and submit work for later this evening. It's going to be a major cram session, and when studying this late in the game, quality is essential. So we've said goodbye to the pup, and now it's time to head to class. We'll come home immediately after and jump on studying. Uh-oh, it looks like Hope was just bitten by a squirrel, so when we get home, we probably need to check that out. We wouldn't want her getting sick, and unfortunately, we wouldn't have the money to get her the best treatment if she did. Situations like that won't be a problem when Sarah owns her very own vet clinic, but for now, we'll just have to take a good look at Hope and hope no damage has been done. Hope seems to be okay. After all, she is pretty tough. Sarah's going to keep an eye out for anything strange, just to be safe. Hope is definitely in need of a bath though, and soon. The only issue is that Sarah doesn't have a bathtub. There goes another problem to add to the list. Although Sarah has a lot of studying to do, she feels she has been neglecting Hope a little bit with her busy schedule and wants to give her some undivided attention. Hope was a stray dog, and the last thing Sarah wants her to feel is unwanted and unloved. So although Sarah is falling critically behind on her studies, studying will have to wait just a little bit longer. Okay, it's getting pretty late and Sarah really needs to get serious and settle down if she wants to get any good quality studying in tonight. The first thing she's going to do is grab something to eat. She can't focus on anything with an empty stomach. 
After that, she's going to take a quick shower and put on some comfortable clothes. It's going to be a long night. This meal is really reminding Sarah of home. She wants to quickly check her social bunny account because she didn't get the chance to call her family today and wish them a happy harvest fest. She wants to see if Theo posted any funny moments about their dad drinking too much cider again this year. Last year, he woke up in the barn. Well, dinner was filling. At least Sarah can say she got to partake in at least one tradition this year. Now it's time to get cleaned up. It's been a long day and Sarah cannot wait to get out of these clothes. So it doesn't look like a shower is going to be taking place. Now it looks to be broken completely. Again, another problem to add to the list. As uncomfortable as Sarah is, she has no time to focus on that right now. She's just going to have to change clothes and be satisfied with that. However, we do need to let Hope out to use the bathroom though. She's getting kind of testy. Okay, so a quick change of clothes and then immediately upstairs to study. Sarah's study session is not off to a good start, but she's got to put the discomfort out of her mind in order to focus on passing her exams. Finally, time to study. Sarah has three exams to study for and one term paper to write in just a matter of hours. It's already 9 p.m. and Sarah's anxiety is really starting to kick in now. If she doesn't complete all of her work tonight, this could change the trajectory of her and her family's entire future. Again, talk about pressure. Things couldn't possibly get any more tense than they already are, right? Wrong. It's not enough that Sarah's practically falling apart and that her dream is slowly turning into a nightmare before her very eyes. But just as Sarah is starting to gain a little traction and finds a steady study flow, Hope begins to freak out and is becoming increasingly restless and needy. Sarah is getting extremely distracted and feels conflicted. She needs to study, but she's now a pet parent and can't bear to hear Hope's whimpers. She's nowhere near finished her work, but she's going to have to take a break and give Hope some attention. She only has a few hours left to study, and the probability of her passing her exams tomorrow seem very slim. There. That should be enough TLC for now. We love Hope, but we really have to get back to work. It's already morning and we haven't completed anything. We're not even halfway finished. Let's get refocused and try to squeeze as much as we possibly can out of the next few hours. No more distractions. Oh great, another distraction. Sarah completely forgot that she starts her new job today. And guess what? Her shift begins in an hour. There's absolutely no way she's finishing her work now. Any time she's had to study is now completely gone. Her final exam grades now just rest in the hands of fate. Sarah feels like a complete failure and could not be more disappointed with herself. She's now starting to question if she's in way over her head. That shift was taxing and really draining. But most importantly, it was a revelation to Sarah that she cannot handle the amount of tasks she's been trying to tackle all at once. Sarah is very ambitious, and sometimes her drive can lead her to take on more than she can handle and burn out really quickly. This is one of those moments. Sarah's goals are to get her degree, become a vet, build a vet clinic, and renovate her entire house to accommodate her family back home. So far, her approach to accomplishing these goals all at once has caused her to fall behind greatly in school. She is not prepared for exams today, and failing her exams is not an option. The only choice Sarah has left to avoid any further self-sabotage is to skip her exams and drop out of term to avoid having any finalized SAPAR grades. Sarah is devastated, but it's the only way to salvage her new beginning in Brindleton Bay. <laughs>